at least I'm losing some gold here. Oh, so that, so I'd, I'd like to welcome uh, drunk ASMR <laughs> to my channel. Um, Currently sober. We're just going to have a, a plod around Portsmouth. Um, <laughs> I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm using an app to record um, front and back. Uh, just, I think I started the car, we can actually start driving. Um, obviously, I'll be concentrating on the road, so you'll, That's pro you'll probably have to do most of the talk. Were well, you were asking questions? Uh, well, I'll, I'll tell you, I've embraced minimalism, so I've got rid of loads of clothes, you know, to make yeah. it easier. So it's not instead of going, I want this t-shirt or that t-shirt, what should I wear? I bought them all, and um, I bought them all so I do small. So that's why you can see my tits. I was going to say, is that why you're looking sexy? Because the clothes are <laughs> skin tight. But if I tight, just then. cover up the boob with, oh, I can do that, where I should do a photo shoot where you, you can't see my nipples. Because <laughs> of <laughs> <laughs> So um, I guess uh, for, for people who don't know you, do you want to describe a bit about your channel? Um, um, yeah, my content gets nicked by him a lot, uh, often without my permission. He Always uses me bollocks, is it? You go, check this out. <laughs> it always makes me giggle. <laughs> and that's what I get for using too many green screens. <laughs> yeah, I, honestly, yeah. You, you, just, you just set yourself up for it. I do, you? I do. And that last one was brilliant. Uh, I make ASMR videos as well. Um, a different category, I guess, to yours? Yeah, I mean, you, you, I tend to do... Um, I don't show my face a lot, whereas you're pretty much, it's all you, isn't it? Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, yeah. I, I'm all about the hairy hands. And, uh, <laughs> and the gloves. And, you're, and uh, you're the beard. Yeah, I'm all about the beard. <laughs> what do you reckon, fat or pregnant? <laughs> um, no comment. <laughs> Maybe Poss water, man. Possibly a bit of both. <laughs> Because obviously when, when, when you're a lady and you're pregnant, you eat a lot. You're, you're, eating, oh. for, you're eating for two. I'm just fat. <laughs> I was just saying, you sure you're not pregnant? <laughs> I could be. There was that night we woke up. <clears throat> Edit, cut, cut. <laughs> right, yeah, uh, I make ASMR videos. I tend to, I'm drunk ASMR. I used to get hammered and do it. And now I don't get hammered and don't do it as much. So we were, talk we were talking earlier a bit about um, YouTube and current growth patterns in terms of oh, new God. subscribers and <laughs> lack of them. <laughs> what new subscribers? So, oh my uh, God. Just... That, that, that's a cue for everyone watching to go over to uh, Drunk Air Yes, please. Subscribe. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell button. Yeah. Please. All, all, all two people who watch this video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've. Um, oh, 10 points. <laughs> we. Um, oh, I've taken that bastard down. What? Sorry. Uh, thieves, you recognise them from retail. I'll take all them right, down. All right. I'm sorry. What, what was he thieving? Steaks? Steaks, yeah. cheese, birthday cakes, anything. Um, but that's retail, not this. Yeah, it just. Um, at the moment, everything just seems to be down. Uh, I think I'm at my lowest subscribers for the last 30 days at 24. Two years ago, I was at 200. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I, I've got the same on my channel where, I mean, admittedly, a, a lot of my kind of initial growth came from a couple of viral videos, mm. um, which has since been squashed. And I think one actually got taken down uh, because it went against the community guidelines. <laughs> Oh, was that the That's barber it. one? Uh, quite possibly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, can't, I mean, so many got, so many of them got strikes after the clampdown stuff. You know, yeah. it was like you, you, it was like naked Barbie was a community guideline strike. <laughs> I mean, it's just it's just a piece of plastic. It's just it's plastic titties. What's the problem? <laughs> well, I was going to say a lot of porn's plastic titties as well. So maybe uh, you know. Uh, but anyway, YouTube took offence. Um, oh, they do, don't they? I get demonetised quite a lot, but I always, I like, nine out of ten times, I um, win, like, you know, when you ask for it to be reviewed, I win. Yeah, a few, a few times. I, I mean, I, I, I just recently appealed against, uh, they, they dinged um, an ear-eating video. I've got a, a penguin which eats your ears. Wait, um, what? And, and apparently that's adult content. How the hell do the other eight, oh... 
Well, well, the bikini, the bikini streamers, you know, porn stars doing this. What do we? There should be a name for I that. Fot ASMR. I don't know, but basically, I mean, I, I just don't understand their reasoning. I mean, I mean, it's, it didn't get. It's not a community guidelines strike. It's just like demonetized mm. um, because it's like adult. You know, you've got to be eighteen to watch a penguin, a puppet penguin. <laughs> um, but anyway, I don't, I don't know where I'm going. By the way, I'm just driving in. That's fine. Um, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Especially when you've got like a, a lot of the bigger. Uh, creators that are coming up now are basically big boobs, pretty women. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, cleavage will sell quite a lot. Mm, yeah, I've tried that. To a certain demographic. <laughs> but, you know, I, I'm a man of culture, so... <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, it's, I don't want cleavage, I want the entire package. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, it's like... Well, there's, that, there's definitely the rise in uh, Not Safe for Work ASMR, isn't there? And um, I, I, is that, I don't know. I, I mean, I think oh, yeah, it's, it's I, awesome. I, I find that as a creator, I don't get a lot of time to actually watch other people's stuff, oh, including, including awesome. your stuff. I do watch some of your stuff every now and then and make yeah, a yeah. comment. I'm sure you notice. <laughs> yeah. Well, your AS, what is it, ASCII artwork? It's, it's, oh, ask, ASCII, ASCII uh, artwork. Yeah. Oh, you noticed? Do you know that? Yeah, that goes into my spam oh, every no, time. Why? <laughs> oh, so, I, so I confirm it. Time, no, I confirm it every time. It makes me giggle. But um, oh, that's that's annoying. So that means all the because I, I have other channels I like, comment with ASCII. Art, that's what you get in spam. Yeah, it goes straight into spam. Why? Uh, why ask? I suppose because because uh, you can draw a picture. Can't you? Yeah, you don't draw that, do you? No, I just copy past it. Yeah. Like, but like... <laughs> well, yeah, sorry. Back to the point. The um, yeah, the channels are the ASMR thing has definitely changed, doesn't it, over the years? Uh, and I think what might be affecting my channel is uh, my um, my multiple personality disorder that it has for different names. What have I been called? I started off as. All right. I don't know what you started off as. I started off as that <laughs> ASMR dude because I was making. I've had this is my second channel. I had one called the Whispering Man. I think that's a good name because it it tells you what you're going to (laughs) get well (laughs) it wasn't the whispering man it was thy whispering man because the whispering man was taken and I made a couple of videos and I was recording them on a Blackberry 9720 it's your favourite tech isn't it Blackberry (laughs) don't go there (laughs) and um (laughs) okay what's your favourite tech what was my favourite tech before before you went to the before they went Android but the um you know, and then I got like some emails saying I know where you live, and I panicked and deleted it. And they went, "Why do I care where they know where I live? What are they going to do? No one's going to want to rape me. It's going to gum off. Okay, no one's going to no one's going to want to rape me. Let's go to gum off. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then um, so I started again, and I was that ASMR dude. And then because you know I was I was drinking and making it. Uh, I went to drunk ASMR, and then what else have I been called myself? Yeah. I went back to that ASMR. Well, King, I, I thought you were really good at choosing names. I mean, I thought Lo-Fi King or King of Lo or whatever the fuck it was. So memorable. Um, King of Lo-Fi ASMR was a really good name. Yeah, and I because again, it kind of tells you what you're going to get. Whereas my name is, I mean, I did choose a purposefully generic name. Yeah. But now I kind of regret it because I think no one knows what it's about. Well, you can change it. <laughs> yeah, you but can. then, but then. So what the, else have I been called? The brand I have. Hit the bad ASMR good. <laughs> That one wasn't a popular one. Um, <laughs> I've got, uh, I was every man ASMR. Right, right. ASMR for modern people. Some bollocks. Uh, so you've been there a few years then? Uh, seven. Seven years, actually. Seven years. Yeah. Because it's weird, like, cause, um, I seem to remember. I want those headphones. The pink, the pink ones, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wicked. <laughs> yeah, I've got, I've got, actually, actually, I've got some Surface headphones, which are really good. I mean, they're big over it. They're oh, I love them. Kind of I've been looking ones. at those actually, but they're just Again, they're, they're fucking expensive. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they're really good for just like kicking back, and they got like a big dial for the volume. And stuff yeah, and stuff. I've, I've looked. Jesus Christ. Um, what? Do you want me to kill someone? Yeah, that son of a bitch walked out in front of you. Oh, I didn't um, even see that. <laughs> language isn't an issue on this, is it? Uh, not now. <laughs> <laughs> It's drunk at his mouth, it's not going to get... Uh, like 18 only adult, adult content. Yeah. Just swearing, a few F-bombs. I'll drive around the car park and down to the coast. Or Wherever you want to go, sir. So. I'm in no rush today. I'm on holiday this week. Got off, like for a week off, is it? Well, no, I've worked a couple of shifts they couldn't cover for overtime. But, but um, yeah, it's just, it's just, yeah, seven years and you see things work and things that don't work. Um, it's definitely changed. I mean, everyone's got a 3DO. I don't really get the whole licking the ear thing, but apparently. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I think from a purely 
marketing cynical point of view because it's mostly girls that do that stuff isn't it? yeah yeah of course which, which you know and you don't see any fat girls doing that uh, probably not I don't do you know. see I, any I've not really researched you don't really yeah. see I, I follow a lot I watch a lot by ASMR but you never really see okay sorry not fat that's the wrong term well it's 90% male viewers. you never really see any but, um, well the thing is I don't the thing is if you're fat you're fat it's like yeah, I mean, why, why, you, why has that become an offensive word? I don't really understand. Uh, woke culture. No, I don't want no. to go down there. I was wondering. <laughs> so this is Gun War. See, this is where you drive. I go, just drop me off, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, Gun War, it'll, it'll get uh, people from Pompey watching this video. So you can yeah. just You're going to Pompey you Wood, is it? Yeah. Well, the six people who use that hashtag. Yeah. <laughs> They're, they're all my account, by the way. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's all different accounts I've got. Yeah, there's a thing, like, you never see... There are some larger ASMR creators, I guess. But you, you just wonder, like, you see that somewhere... Like, you see, you wonder why your content doesn't do that well. I mean, I'm happy my content does as well as it does, I guess. Well, you, you get decent views, even if your growth is stalled a bit. You, well, I guess it depends, like, you I know... I don't know what you do longer term, but... Three years ago, I'd get a, a thousand views in a month. Now, uh, it's like in a month. Now, it's maybe 300. Right. But I think the, um... Very impatient in lines, aren't you? Uh, I'm going straight ahead, aren't I? So what's the problem? <laughs> but um, I think well, I the... That guy. <laughs> <laughs> but I think the... Um... Oh, I've lost my trail of thought. Um, large birds, yeah. ASMR. <laughs> I want those headphones. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> um... People are going to think we're such assholes, aren't they? <laughs> I'm called drunk ASMR, man. What do you... <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I think it's. Um, oh, I've lost completely where I was going. Uh, I, I've lost track. Something I've, about fat birds. <laughs> it's politically incorrect. <laughs> um, but I, I, I dispute that. I mean, it's like fat is a is a is a thing. It's like blubber, isn't it? It's yeah, like, it's it lipids. is. I think. You and, can, if you, and if you if you've got more, if you've got loads of fat lipids, is a thing. But calling someone fat is different. There are two terms. Well, the, you can't well, go. Well, or you, well, the truth hurts. That's the problem, isn't it? Like, yeah, and then they go find a donor. So, you know, you're not helping it. <laughs> I'm fat. I am technically obese. Right, but, like, see, if I... And you're hurting my feelings. If I was to say, <laughs> drunk ass tonight, you're a bit fat, would that offend you? I mean, would that... Would you be like, oh, my God, he's calling me fat? <laughs> so, um... So you are offended when I call you fat? Or if I happen to mention your body size, you know. I'm rotund, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Um, but, you know, it's like people, I mean, you, you, I, I started wearing gloves on my channel because my initial videos, people would comment about my hands and how awful and hairy they were and stuff. Yeah, I get a lot And I've got really stuff. bad fingernails. Um, but recently I've decided to, like, embrace that. Partly because, you know, it's engagement, right? Someone's complaining. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, even a um, negative comment's still a comment, you um, prick. But, no, honestly, when I take the rubber gloves off, I hate the smell, and I'm like, oh, I could do it. And, mm. they, and, and they still break and stuff. And I just feel like, well, it's minimalism as well. It's like, just mm. use my own fucking hands. I think it's also, uh, we both used gloves anyway. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, um, I, used, I used to get a lot of my, because um, of my psoriasis. And um, I think it's, uh, I used, I started using gloves because of it, and I love the sound of gloves. And then yeah. I started using pink ones because that's kind of know what what I'm known for, pink. So, um, but yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't even think when I'm unboxing something, I don't think I should trim my nails, wash yeah. my hands and stuff. It's just and then when, it's, when you look back, you're like, that's a lot of dirt. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, I, I did a video the other day and I thought, I thought, oh shit, I've got like a really big bit of dirt under my fingernail. Oh, people are just gonna just comment about. It. Although no one's, I, I don't know if the video's been released yet. So I'm starting to do the thing. I'm trying to release a video a day. Oh yeah. I'm um, just trying to get the, well, see if it affects the growth at all again. Wow. And partly for something to do because I've, I don't know, I've, I've got far too much free time. Xbox man. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a gamer. I'm like, I just, I don't know. But um, but you know, I, I've had certain challenges just in my personal life, which I don't really want to go into. But that's oh, right. a, that's affected my video 
output. Yeah. Um, but I'm like, it's like, it's a new, okay, it's March, but it's a new year. <laughs> and it's it like, counts, doesn't it? It's a new month. Get, new get back year. into it. And, uh, and, 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 and like, I've been watching, like, I wouldn't say I've been watching motivational videos, but kind of like more um, spiritual, man about just again it ties into minimalism I'm just going to be sad about a few times that's always good fun and we can just talk while we go around and confuse everyone minimalism what's the saying? I can't remember you're saying you're going hippie oh yeah so yeah and it's kind of got me back on track because it makes you realise that you kind of have to um, actually get a dizzy cope, oh, right. <laughs> Co- you know, co- cope with your situation in the best way that you can. Um, <laughs> yeah, I get it. I mean, you know, because I, I, I mean, I, you know, we both work in retail. I, I, you know, we're both at the sort of the sharp end of meeting the public, right? And yeah, it's, it's it's just a matter of time before we get corona. Isn't it? it just amazes me that humanity survives. <laughs> Right? I can't believe how quickly, like, you know, I've just been smacked down for something I've been chasing for five years. And, um, you know, that whole management gig. And right. go. Go. Come on. Here's a good boy. Looks really distant because it's a wide angle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're actually, like, only probably, what's that, about 10 oh, th- That's why I look fat, because it's wide angle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. You're awesome. You're the slimmest guy I've seen all day. <laughs> it's a fat city. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> Yeah, I've lost it now. Um, yeah, I think it's. Um, I, I'm kind of embracing minimalism. I've got like a, a pile of shiz I need to get to um, charity shops and stuff, and that's what I'm intending to do this week. Um, but it's it, there's different types of minimalism. You've got the extremists. It's I like, yeah, but I still buy loads of shit. But then I decide what I don't want and get rid of it. Quite yeah, quickly. I'm the same. Like a lot um, of it, I've got a lot of stuff. And, uh, you know, I, I just don't hoard. I'm not a hoarder, but I mean, I, I like nice things, you know. I, I'm my not, wife is. You've seen you know, the DVDs, the books, the yeah. Fuck. But that's that's like if you've got the space for it, what's the problem? You know? Well, like, I think it stresses me. It's going to rain. Stuff, you can rest the air tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I've, it, that car stinks. That, that car in front. I don't know if you can see it. It's blo- oh, it's a diesel. It's blowing fucking fumes. What's that? The car in front is a. I wouldn't say my but that's not what was in it. Toyota. Yeah, that I think, yeah, I think it was to her. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I was sharp, but it's blowing pretty gruesome diesel fumes and it stinks. I don't know, my sense of smell but is atrocious. But it's not smell of vision. Well, I haven't got a great sense of smell. Well, I, I ordered my beer. Smell my beard. So it doesn't smell unpleasant. It sounds kind of fresh ish. What, what is that? I, like I've a, started oiling. I started oh, right. using oil in it. I nicked it from your car. <laughs> it didn't smell like motor oil to yeah. me. <laughs> started oiling the beard. I, I should, something I should have started doing about four years ago when I started growing it. Um, so now I'll be able to tag this ASMR rain wiper blade sounds. That, that does quite well. <laughs> um, we've got the... Um, so, the minimalism thing. I've been watching loads of it. Like There's a guy called... Um, shit. Uh, Matt Daveria or something. And he's pretty decent. And... Um, it's like Netflix documentary. And shit. I think he did one. I think that was his. Yeah. Uh, he's got a YouTube channel, which Sorry, is pretty decent. Weird email thing. <laughs> I think um, I like it a lot, but you know the stuff that it's difficult to let go of some things, and I quite like that. It's quite yeah. Well, they, well, they say you should hold something, and if it still means something to you, don't throw it. Well, they've got but, different but, but, rules. But if, you, if you hold it and you think. What? There's the 90 day rule. If you haven't used it for 90 days and oh, you don't yeah. think you use it the next 90 days. But I, I tend to be like two years. It's like, if I can't There's even remember. There's the 2020 20 if, if I rule. can't even remember owning yeah. it, it's like, well. There's the 2020 20 rule. You know, has 20 things. Many, have the, see, my, my, yeah. my rules are minimalistic as well. You've got too many rules. Yeah, they're it's ridiculous. Like, isn't it? And like, like, you know, <laughs> I've got a collection of stuff. Like, I've still got a shit ton of props that I haven't used my. YouTube thing, but you saw my um, my setup is fairly minimalistic, isn't it? I mean, yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, apart from the six keyboards I own, I love my camera. You should talk. You should talk a little bit about your your journey to, to iOS and shit, because I'm I, I'm seriously. I know you said you on it previously and stuff, which I obviously forgot. I've never been, really been in an ecosphere before. But I, but I just found it. You know, I thought if anyone was gonna like never go to iOS. 
It would be you. Well, my... you're kind of like a PC guy, and not really. I'm a. I'm. I was a Chromebook guy. Well, not really. That was my main. The only reason I owned a PC in the first place was for video editing, which right. I'm not really known for, other than going, oh, green screen, v- v- done. V- v- video trimmer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, green screen, done. Uh, should we let this guy go? But we should do. He's delivering yeah, people to self isolators. Um, <laughs> Probably truck for the but, bog. You know, right? I've got. I go through stuff all the time. Like I used to, you know, I've got my mental health issues. I've got laptops. I'd get drunk, smash up a laptop, and have to buy a new one. Or uh, you know, Chromebooks. Yeah, so, 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 so you'd smash up a laptop out of rage or no, I don't out I was of drunk. showmanship? Or... No, 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 just a kind of. So I, I've, I've, bro- I've broken things out of showmanship. I, I do. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Repair videos. Because I made that video of yours, didn't I? I made a video comparing you, saying the <laughs> ASMR show problem. Well, I just pretended to cry in front of you smashing phones because I used it on my green screen. <laughs> I, I, I understand why you're making these videos of me now. But <laughs> um, but oh, E3's been cancelled. Is what, sorry? E3. It's the big video game expo. Yeah, They're going to announce a new console. Coronavirus? Yep. I imagine so. But yeah, um, I kind of, you know, I was a phone man. I like changing phones and stuff. They're all slabs now, aren't they? Yeah. But the thing that I always criticised, um, iPhone for several things. Um, no AMOLED screen. No dual speakers. When I got rid of the headphone jack, that, I hated that. But then everyone else did it as well. So, you know, I was like, okay, I, I bought into Bluetooth speakers and then we are. Uh, shit battery life and I bought the XS at, sorry 10S Max or whatever you call it and it it solves all of those six and a half inch screen perfect for me yeah. camera's decent the who needs more than six and a half inches frankly your mum and then um, <laughs> so that was such a good setup <laughs> you had to see that one coming because she did but the <laughs> sorry <laughs> sorry not sorry but the um this is when you bring up something about your personal life here, isn't it? <laughs> My personal life? Yeah, you said you had something going on in your personal life you don't want to talk about, and I'm making your mum joke, and I've got a feeling. No, it's nothing to do with my mum. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, good. So I don't feel so mom. bad now. Um, yeah, and it solved all that. You know, the stereo recording, the cameras are great. The video quality on the iPhone, and even sound quality, is better than the £300 4K. Yeah. Uh, the, the, thing I was really wait, the thing I was really waiting for was the stereo recording with the onboard mics. Because yeah. since the 5S or something, it's had three mics. So it's been capable, but they never enabled it. And you could only do it in Android. And when, because for me, an ASMR video ideally wants to be stereo, right? Yeah. And yeah, mono, yeah. it's not quite the same. Um, um, and I like the like, again minimalist like put out a phone make a quick off the cuff video yeah yeah exactly um, and I think that's it like I, I hope this app records stereo <laughs> <laughs> I've spent so much money over the years on tech I've just never used and do you know what I've always just gone back to my phone <laughs> because it's easier yeah and, and the thing is is like the, the difference between like well, I suppose your phone can be a thousand pound now, but a thousand pound phone and a thousand pound dedicated camera, the, the difference is not that much anymore. Uh, I guess it depends what you want it you know, to do. Unless you want to add things into it. But even like the iPhone, there's a Shure microphone which I use. It's, it's got right of way. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you failed my driving test there. <laughs> But yeah, I think it's um, text obviously come. I mean, I've been making videos on phones for well since the start. Like the first couple of unboxing videos on my YouTube channel, I made on a BlackBerry ninety nine hundred. Um, like, and, and I must admit, I'm sure because when you were using your Sony camera, and I think at the time you had the Xperia, the, what's the big fat? Oh, well, not fat. But well, when the, big, what the first time we met, the premium wasn't it? Yeah, I and, and I think you made you then made some videos of that, and I couldn't tell the difference. I, you, you happened to mention you'd made one with with the phone. I thought, fuck, I thought that you'd made that. Well, with that's the camera, it, because you know? I mean, um, so, so it sh- goes to show that you, who was that introduced us? It was the Bob uh, Chris, Chris, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so plug for end cutting in North End. Yeah, he's good. He's good. Um, yeah, the um, yeah, because I remember you made an entire phone trying to sell me your one because the headphone jack on mine had stopped working. You, yeah, you. Um, I said that the headphone jack on my phone had stopped working, so uh, I was going to change it. And I had that phone. I bought that phone brand new, and I had that one for a good six, seven months. A good six or seven months. <laughs> At the same time, I had other phones, but that's not the point. 
I paid 700 for it. I couldn't replace it. I mean, I paid 650 for this iPhone, and uh, even though I think that was too much, but I'm still getting a lot from it. Uh, the way the way I justify it is like if it's something I'm going to use every day. Yeah. If it costs me like three pounds a day to use it, although the thing is, obviously if you keep your phones longer than I do, but you know, it's not costing you three pounds a day. <laughs> Which is still a shit ton longer than I do. <laughs> <laughs> but like I say, the the iPhone, what, the three, the, the Pro Max thing that I've got now, I don't see myself upgrading that unless the next one has a significantly better selfie camera, mm. um, because that's always the last camera they upgrade, isn't it? So although um, it's capable of 4K now, or whatever. It's not HDR, or it's not. It's just not as good as the rear-facing cameras as it ever. Which is a shame because, um, although what I've found is the watch, this watch could be used as a viewer right. for the camera. That's interesting. Yeah, it's great. So I'm slowly getting sold on getting one there. Like, oh, I reckon. Like really I, get a, I get a couple of days uh, battery out of it, yeah. but and that's it. It's just a case of I've gone to iOS. And it's wireless charging as well, isn't it? Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, but only on its own. That's, that's Apple, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I think it's, um, yeah, it's just, it does everything so well, I don't see the point in getting anything new. Uh, you know, Android is boring now. Well, a, well the, the strength of Android, I think, is still that it iterates a lot and they do all this barking mad stuff like the foldable phones. Oh, and, it's so pretty. And, and all this stuff where you think it's a little bit impractical, but it's still quite cool. Well, they're kind of um, sold as work in progress, aren't they, as in concept phones? Whereas like Apple, if they do concept phones, they obviously keep it secret and they wouldn't sell it. I on, think on Apple, the market, you know? Apple doesn't uh, innovate anymore, but I think they um, they perfect. So yeah. um, I, I think Android is good, but iOS tends to be excellent. Yeah, well, depending on what you're trying to do. I think unlocking, you know, I've got the iMac yeah. and then I can just sit down and my watch unlocks the iMac. Right. And it always works properly, doesn't it? I mean, I get far fewer problems with Apple stuff than I ever do you know because it's more it's more like an appliance it's more like using a washing machine isn't it? well I think it, it just works most of the time when Android's made it's made for a vast different series oh. of processes where Apple make their processes Apple make yeah. their actual um, yeah well they control the whole thing yeah, down yeah. Top, top to bottom. although they use Samsung and, and like I say I still <laughs> do like Android but it doesn't take long like with the new iPhones, get used to all the swiping and all that kind of stuff. And I go back to an Android, it's got so many buttons. Do you buttons. know where all that swiping came from originally? Probably Android. No, but <laughs> Blackberry. <laughs> and then they got it from Palm. Right, yeah. the Palm Free back in the days. Yeah, everyone just stole their IP when they Well, no, they, um, Blackberry basically bought their, um, the software for that. Right. And then they did that. And then, like, Blackberry still uh, do a lot of like, in-car survey. Uh, in car surveys? In car um, software and stuff. Right, okay. But um, they make shit phones now. Didn't, they, didn't even know they still made phones, but. Uh, you fucking did. Did I? You fucking did know, because I'd be like, look what I got! You'd be like, oh, you're just trying to sound cool. Such an Apple hipster. <laughs> he says, with the beard and the top knot you can't see, luckily. <laughs> uh, have you ever wondered, like, when people are talking about you, what what they describe you as? Like, if, if you're talking about me, oh, I, oh, I know this guy. Well, what do you, how, what do you call me? Stephen the vegan. The what? <laughs> vegan. Fe oh, ve <laughs> oh, oh, no, I refer the, to you as ASMR show. The, all right, okay. Yeah. But uh, but I think we don't know because I I have to say you know drunk ASMR you know the guy with the beard. Yeah, but I think <laughs> the thing is is that we don't know many of the same people. So true, true. say no, I, I just find it fascinating to know because obviously that's a tiny part of somebody's life, isn't it? Yeah, I guess. I, I think it might be like, uh, so say the Pompey Trash Arts thing. Yeah. I know a few people dotted through it, like um, yeah. Kevin. Uh, I don't know Kevin. Massive oh, Kevin guy. Cordell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Massive guy, you know, right, really nice guy. I've known him for quite a few years. And, um, you know, I kind of, I refer to you by name to them. Yeah. But when I'm chatting about you to my wife, I go, I'll go, Mike, come around. She goes, who? <laughs> <laughs> and I go like that because she hasn't met you. Yeah, yeah. No, and I think enough. it's and I think it might be known that if you say drunk case martyr, I may be known roughly on the outskirts by like trash arts and stuff because yeah. I've spoken to a few people. I've spoken to Sam, Bell, and all that. Yeah. But um, they go who, and then you go like oh YouTube with, with the beard, and it's a it, you never know what people think about you. Like some people might go oh yeah I know the guy, or some people might go oh that's what. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but you know. It's, 
stressed out, isn't it? Yeah, it's what, whatever, really, isn't it? So, I mean, I'm, oh, I, yeah, I'm, I'm just one of them. Oh, what, is that an electric, electric scooter? scooter. Yeah, there's oh. loads of them around town, isn't there? I know, I'm gonna, um, this, well, I could do in a cycle to work scheme. I'm gonna wander down there tomorrow and see if there's something's up for it. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, it's you know, it's just, I wonder what my, I don't think my reputation in the, I don't think there is an ASMR community anymore. I think for, I think the height for me was 2013 14 was the height of ASMR where, you know, a lot of the bigger creators now aren't as popular like Heather Feather uh, what about Cherry Crush uh, I reckon she should do adult material I think she used to to be fair well, she does that's how I know it <laughs> but I commented saying I reckon you should do my adult orientated material I think you'd be great at it <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah I think um, there's it felt uh, not small out but it was a lot more community I think you could chat a lot more and now a lot of it is it's all um, well it's like when everything, anything gets like over commercialised yeah like, and I yeah, think it always over. has been commercialised I just think it's a case of um, a lot of people have stopped doing it channels disappear like I talk to well I, I see that as like they've made their money and buggered off sort well of thing. is I, it uh, wait, next one wait. I think a lot of it is it's not just that I think a lot of it is um, you know they've just stopped doing it like a couple of my favourite creators are still round yeah. uh, sorry uh, still got their stuff up but they don't do it anymore and then you know they kind of fall out of memory like I think I speak to two other creators you yeah. and a guy in Sweden nice is he Sweden Switzerland? one of the two yeah and like this guy does like role plays daily I don't know how he he should have a lot more subscribers than any of us but um Right, we done. Uh, I just need to park. Okay. And then you need to invite me in for coffee. That's fine. <laughs> We're gonna have and to then, pop to the shop for coffee. Yeah, oh, that's cool. Let me just actually just go up to the line there. Where's the curve? Nice. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed uh, this chat. I know it's not exactly. I'll have to tag this like meta ASMR. It's not. It's obviously not an ASMR video. No, it's not. Itself. Um, so I apologise if you're expecting to get tingles, but you know, instead you, could, you just got to look at two really good looking men. Half hour.